ready? I'm sorry. That was a 40, we had 49 plays there with the young guys. I thought it was good. Uh, did something that we haven't done ever and made the quarterbacks live, which uh, I think was good for the offensive line to have to know that they were really protecting him and that we weren't going to blow the whistle. And it was good for our pass rush to know that if they got by a guy, they had a chance. I think everyone came through it pretty healthy. Um, spirited and competitive, and I thought it was really good for our young guys to get out and get a chance to do that. So, it was a good week overall. I think we got a lot done. We did some stuff on Arizona State. We did some stuff that was more focused on just you know our schemes offensively and defensively, and I think we got a lot, of, lot out of it. And now uh, we'll give these guys um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Then we'll come back Monday, practice Monday afternoon, and, and uh, really focus in on Arizona State. These next three days, are they completely off? Like no meetings or anything? Or Yeah, they're completely off. Okay. Is there any worry about it? Maybe like rust or whatever on Monday? About what? Like rust or something, or maybe them losing it? How important is it for some of these younger guys to get in here and just as a morale booster because they don't get to see the field as much? How much does that mean for them and for the team overall? I think it's, it's really good on a couple levels. Number one, like you said, just for their morale to get out there and play. You know, they, they uh, during the week, they're on the, the service team so much, you know, that they're, they're always simulating somebody else's offense or defense. And they have to hold back on some of the things that they would typically do naturally as football players. So it's good for them to do that. Then it's good for them to just kind of uh, get competitive again, you know, and, and, uh, and go after each other. And, uh, and then it's just good work. I mean, it's just more fundamentals and technique and competitive stuff that we can abide with as a coaching staff as we go forward. So I think it's really important. How many guys are leaving town for uh, recruiting this? Oh, for recruiting? For recruiting. Ten. For all of us. All of us? We're all out. And some were gone today. You notice Adrian Clem wasn't here. Uh, Jeff Ulbrich wasn't here. Uh, Marcus Tuyasopo wasn't here. Those guys are gone already. So we, uh, we'll all be on the road starting either yesterday, today, or tomorrow. You too? Mm-hmm. What are some of the main areas you guys are looking at? Uh, we're headed, uh, we've got some guys down south, um, we'll canvas California, uh, and then the Pacific Northwest, Arizona. You know, where we've got guys that are either committed or, you know, that we're really hard on right now. So those are, you know, we're going to go to the areas where the guys that we're interested in are from us are. Where are you going? Down south, this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the southern the, states, the, not Mexico? No, or? no, no. Okay. The, su the, the, the southern part of the United States. <laughs> okay, just so checking. In there. I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to try to hit three games. Oh, I can't California. tell you. Well, I know, you, but yeah, I mean in California? I mean? California yeah. and then up the coast. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's like uh, Torian was back. I mean, how's, uh, Torian was back Tor out here. Torian was back out here, and he seems like he's feeling well. The procedure went very well. Uh, so we expect him to be, probably won't be back Monday. I mean, he'll be back out here right. moving around, but... And we won't have any contact on Monday anyway, but when we start contact work again on Tuesday, we're hopeful that he'll be back. If not Tuesday, then Wednesday, which should mean he's ready to go on, on Saturday. It'll be interesting. I think it'll be fun. I was just telling the guys, I think it's really great for them, or important for them tonight to watch that Arizona State-Oregon game, because it's at Arizona State. Um, and uh, I think they can learn a lot just about the environment that they're going to play in, uh, the tempo of the offense or the defense. If you listen closely to the analysts, you can learn a lot. These coaches seem to or tend to spill the beans a little bit on you know, philosophy and players they like and don't and things they're going to try to do. So I think they can learn some things. So you're saying when you were an analyst, you spilled the beans all the time? No. They, I, when I was an analyst, they'd spill it to you. To you. Yeah, and it's good. I mean, they're trying to give you information that will help the broadcast. And, and, send messages you know through the through the analysts to people that are watching the game but i just think you can you can pick up some things you know you maybe you can pick up the cadence maybe you can pick up uh, if they hard count or not and pick up some, maybe some audibles you know you don't want to overthink it obviously but there's some things that you can learn so hopefully they watch it some of them have tutoring so that takes precedence all right thanks all right have a good weekend okay cool See you.